Hi, I'm Mark Hoffman with Rota Engineering. I'm the Vice President of Sales and Marketing. And what we're showing today at FP 2020 is the smaller sensors that we have developed. So our desire is to continually make these sensors smaller and smaller. And what that means for the end user is it does not change the pin to pin dimension of existing cylinders. So we have several different mechanical connections with different electrical connections that we would work with on the project to bring it all together to be a successful project. So if you remember at last Con Expo, we were showing our independent mount transducer that is really designed for R&D projects so that you can mount this in parallel with the cylinder and as the cylinder strokes in and out, so does the sensor giving you that electrical output that you're looking for. Since then, we've had several requests to come up with a lower cost version that would be used more in OEM applications. So here we have our LL independent mount that as you can see is actually the sensor that we've incorporated with this rod eye and we have the electrical connector right here. And this portion of the housing is the magnet which is required for the Hall Effect technology to work. So as you can see, it's the same concept of mounting it with the cylinder or possibly even replacing rotary sensors where you're looking for that linear signal and it strokes in and out to give you that proportional signal. Also what we were showing at Con Expo three years ago was our liquid level sensors. So as you can see, we've taken our same Hall Effect technology, put the magnets in a float, and as that float moves up and down, it gives you that proportional output. What's different this Con Expo is we have a real focus on a sensor that has a dual output now, where you are going to be able to use these in hydraulic tanks. You're going to get that liquid level change but utilizing a can output, you can also get temperature. So what we're seeing now is overall cost of that solution goes down. You've got one sensor, one port in your hydraulic tank. In many cases, you're gonna get two, possibly three IO ports back as this is gonna go on the can network, giving you both position or level and temperature. What we have here is there are multiple ways to monitor your cylinder position. We have internal, external, and we have this solution as well where we can provide the sensor and a magnet. So in this particular application, the sensor is gonna be mounted stationary and the magnet is going to move and still communicate with that sensor. What we're showing here is this magnet will actually work up to four inches away from this sensor. So the great application here might be a telehandler or an aerial work platform that has a cylinder inside of multiple box sections. So now we don't need to interfere with the cylinder whatsoever. We just have that sensor mounted up in the corner of the box section and the magnet just moves up and down in that application communicating with the sensor, again, getting that proportional electrical output. So here we're showing our technology. This is the external solution where the magnet is placed inside of the cylinder. It communicates or propagates that magnetic field through a carbon steel wall to communicate with the sensor externally. What we're showing new at Con Expo 2020 now is our design that is capable of being built up to 130 feet in length. And what we've done is we have greatly reduced the size of this junction portion, which allows us to fit in tighter and tighter envelopes, like we just mentioned with the box sections in a telehandler or an aerial work platform. So please, we'd uh, love for you to just take a look at our website please go to rota-eng.com and contact any one of us for help with your application. Thank you very much for taking the time to listen to us.